Bonjour YouTube et bienvenue sur ce Let's Play de Twin Mirror. Comme à notre habitude, cette vidéo a été prise en live sur Twitch. Vous retrouverez le lien pour la chaîne dans la description de cette vidéo. Entre temps, passez un bon temps et bon visionnement. Mr. Samuel Higgs, Big Shot Investigative Reporter. Didn't think he'd ever be back in here. I'd gladly slash your tires. But that mean you put me down. Wow. And you are leaving town right after this, right? Well, oh, oh, so no well, Nick's memory only goes so far. what I thought. Well, I suppose it's a little bit tight. It's just that. Making friends already, I see. Declan, been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to anger up everyone's blood. <laughs> I'm only here to pay my respects to Nick. Nothing more. Nothing less. Yeah. Shame that. You watch yourself. Yeah, but come put bon choix. Bon. I think it's time to get a photo at the memorial board. That's what people do, right? Mais ah, bon, bon, on ira on ira pas pour parler à eux autres. On va laisser ça tomber de même. C'est nous autres qui avons fait faire ma mine. Oups. Wow. Il a owned this bar for almost a decade and still can't afford another employee. Ah, not real. You just quoted him a couple of times. Les alcools venus des quatre coins du pays. Et t'en aimes bien fumer. So, I had them all out on their ear, and only then did I realize. Ah, Samuel, my favorite ex muckracker. Join us. Join us. I was the funeral. Wasn't there. Setting up for this. Everyone came, most of the town it felt like. A sea of sad, wet eyes. I gave the eulogy. Felt hollow. So hollow. He worked for me for years. For years. My best reporter. What do you even say about him? C'est un reporter engagé. C'est un reporter, un bon équipier. Il était très méthodique. Euh, qu'est-ce qu'on peut pour lui? On le connaît pas. <rire> Ils ne l'ont pas vraiment présenté. Euh... Oh. J'ai toujours l'impression qu'il était très méthodique, même s'il a supposément pas eu un accident de voiture puis il en est décédé. Engagé. Il oh, n'y a, a pas de mauvaise réponse en réalité de les, les trois que là. Hein. Il avait qu'à gâcher. Remember that article? Something about stoplights? No one cared, but he did. Months of effort. Yield signs. He approached each story with his pen like a knight wielding a sword. It's the small <laughs> things. Like he always kept his window down. Said cars made him claustrophobic. That's how he stays with us. The little details. I remember the bar bets about that safe spot in Pac-Man. He, he got me one night. Yeah, got me once too. Can't believe it's real. Enough about Nicholas, enough. Tell me, how have you been, Sam? How have you really been? Yeah, he saved spot down the Pac-Man, boy. Pourquoi j'ai m'en tiré? Je pense pas que... On est parti sur la franchise, on va rester sur ce chemin-là. I spend all day doing nothing. I don't even count days, they just... Blur together. Nick's death barely hit me. It was like a pinprick compared to just everything. Time heals most wounds. Some it just makes worse. Sounds like you need something to pull you out of your rut. Well, I think I've taken enough of your gents' time. Go, mingle, circulate, but you must join us for an actual round later. You must. Oh, Walter. 
Can I ask you something? Questions are the fountainhead of knowledge. Nick's crash. Was there anything suspicious about it? I asked myself. Comment cela enquête tout de suite? The very same thing. It did seem odd. Young Nicholas, a careful man in all things, including driving. I looked into it myself, you know what I found? What? A tragic accident with nothing amiss. I am both relieved and saddened to say. Ah. Life is rarely like a crime thriller, and while I don't mind you asking, some might find it a distasteful conversation at a man's memorial, especially for you. I'll uh, keep that in mind. See that you do, my oh, c'est pas place pour parler de ça. <laughs> c'est un peu cru. Oh. Je pas parler de ça. Je être remplacé il y a des années. Sammy! Oh, it's been ages. Tara? Oh, me? I've had this stomach thing lately, always churning. Uh... And this thing with Nick? His car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. What? Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Um, no. The infamous Seth. I've read that article you wrote on the mine. You must have put in a lot of legwork on that. Euh, ouais, c'est nous autres qui avons fermer la mine par cet article-là, probablement. Oh! <rire> Surtout que tout le monde est un suspect potentiel, effectivement. Ouais, ouais, effectivement. Euh, ça... Encore là, pourquoi, qu sont dans... pourquoi qu son boss aurait voulu le, le tuer, en tout cas? On va voir, peut-être qu'il est là encore, ouais. Je vois pas pour l'instant d'Alibi, mais oui, il est un suspect potentiel aussi. Euh... Pas sûr que... Je pense que je vais répondre par une question. Juste... Quand avait pas vous passé. Juste pour dire ce que... Pourquoi je l'ai écrit. Moi ouais, je pense que c'est le best. Pas trop le goût d'en parler. Tu l'as dit. Qu'est-ce que tu penses? De la writing? Fine. Fine. De la reporting? Quelque <laughs> chose qui devait être fait. Beaucoup de médecins sont un bitter brew. But you still need to take them. That's nice of you to say. Oh, don't hesitate okay. to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam. Sam. Now, I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, oh, right. It's gonna be a stranger, Sam. Get this is on next. That's a deal. Kathy, uh... Sam, you're actually Nick, by the way. It's been too long, Kathy. <laughs> Has it? Joan was really hurt when you left town. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and... Joan's never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um. Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? Hard to make promises. I don't do well. son ex, ça peut être une suspecte de Si on passe de même, l'enquête avancera jamais. On posera pas de questions à personne. <laughs> Sam, I'm gonna hold you to that. Le but c'est pas de blesser la jeune. Vraiment pas. Bon. On peut rentrer dans le palais mental, on peut placer ce vide là. Boum! Palais mental! Ah, c'est la fameuse euh, arcade. Mais, mais pour vrai, il y a vraiment un save zone dans Pac-Man ou c'est quelque chose que le jeu a inventé? Je pense que j'avais été assez bon à Pac-Man pour. Euh... Trouver un save zone. You're a lot like Pac-Man, Sam. I consume everything in my path. You find every last bite. The mine closing wasn't your fault. Your investigation just hurried things up. You probably say some lies, you know. Hi, Dad. Hi, Muley. You piece of Language. <laughs> Is that a wedding ring? Oh, uh, no. I didn't know you were thinking about marriage. 
now. It's just, it feels like the right thing to do. Dad, what's the point of getting married? Well, it's just one of those things people do, Bug. Here, you can play. Someone has to show you grown-ups. Video games are the realm of the young. Have you talked to Anna about this? That's kind of the point. I'll talk to her about it when I show her the ring. If you say so. Mm. Hey, just remember I'm here, right? If you need anything. <laughs> oh, you said we can show secrets. Those I'll take to the grave. You said we can show us my body. Oh boy. Sorry we lost touch. Sorry I lost touch. Rust up, big guy. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. <laughs> Happier times. Peut-être raison finalement, Willard. Peut-être raison. Hey, j'ai pas accès à. Pas accès à celle du bleu. Was so small back then. Nick Walter, y'a rien à dire. Look at us. <laughs> I wonder who took that picture. He was more her best friend than a dad. Samuel, guess I lost the bet. Bet? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood. Not after you went careening out of town. Like a Personne bad idea that that article broke bad. J'ai gagné la mienne de Paris. Avec qui as-tu parié? Ce n'est pas pour ça. Ah. Qu'est-ce qu'il aurait pu gagner comme pari? On voit l'article qui a fait fermer la, la mine. On cherche à savoir qui est parié. Ok, I'll bite. Tell me, Dennis, who did you have a standing bet with? Myself. So I guess I also won. What are you even doing here, Dennis? You and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which I am. And I thought he was a hack. <laughs> oh boy. Which he was. This coming from the IT guy. Didn't know resetting passwords could give you a journalism degree. It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. Relax. I'm just playing. <laughs> At least tell me how you've been. You're the best I good. You must know, I still haven't bounced back from when Anna and I broke up. I think you mentioned she broke up with you. Yeah, but I hear you. Yeah, that's how I ended up in this shit town. Chasing a woman. Yeah, then she left and I got stuck here with two kids. Anyway, cheers to Nick. A man that, unlike us, people actually liked. Speaking of which... Oh oh oh. <coughs> On avait une qui qui rentre dans la place. Un jeu de la guette.
pas si c'est le temps d'aller avoir. <rire> euh, jouer les fléchettes, je pense que c'est une bonne idée. Some people can play this game drunk. Anna was best at three beers. <rire> ok. Wow. La table de bière. Le pied arrière est un peu plus court, ce qui lui donne avantage aux habitudes. <rire> oh. Anna used to play almost every night. She stopped after her father's accident. Oh, un peu. C'est un memento. Tu te souviens qu'Anna apprenait à jouer de la guitare, elle se levait tôt pour exercer avant d'aller travailler. C'est comme ça que tu te réveillais en écoutant sa progression d'accord avant de lui apporter son café. Elle était heureuse à l'époque, même si cette guitare avait déjà à l'époque sa propre histoire de chagrin et de mélancolie. Tu n'as jamais connu la mère d'Anna, et elle ne parlait pas beaucoup d'elle. Mais les quelques fois que, où elle l'a fait, elle disait toujours qu'elle adorait avoir de la musique dans la maison. Sa mère jouait des vieilles chansons folk à la guitare, et elle aimait. Elle chantait toutes les deux, assises par terre, les jambes croisées en tailleur pendant de lo les longs après-midi de son enfance. Anna a perdu sa, sa mère quand elle était adolescente. Mais même pendant les années de deuil, de conflit et de fuite qui ont suivi, elle a gardé la guitare de sa mère, même si elle n'avait jamais appris à en jouer. Au lieu de ça, elle a quitté Basswood, elle est allée à l'université et est revenue en tant que journaliste pour raconter les histoires de sa ville natale. Tu te souviens du papier qu'elle avait écrit sur ce vieux magasin de musique de Go Gooseneck Hill c'est Walter qui l'a envoyé le faire parce que personne n'en voulait. Son article n'a pas sauvé la boutique de la faillite, mais le propriétaire est venu la remercier en personne. Il lui a donné des cours privés pour la remercier. C'est comme ça qu'elle a fini par apprendre à en jouer. Oh boy! Oh boy! Là, je... On lira pas tout ça live. Mais ouais, ça en fait beaucoup. <rire> Euh, donner ça à l'informaticien du journal où je travaillais. Je me souviens que c'était quelqu'un d'aigri et de mesquin. Un solitaire qui n'avait pas beaucoup d'amis à Basswood, moi non plus. Mais ça ne veut pas dire qu'on était semblable. Mon ancien patron au journal, je dirais volontiers qu'il m'a appris tout ce que je sais. Mais vu son palma mon palmarès, ce ne serait pas un compliment. J'ai toujours pensé que Walter était quelqu'un de bien. Un spécimen rare qui pense sincèrement que, que son boulot est de servir la communauté. Revoir ce vieux blagueur était plus agréable que ce, que à, ce que, à quoi je m'attendais. Avec Walter, pas de faux semblants. Son chagrin pour Nick est sincère. Finalement. Hug est, Hugh est un nu, nouveau en ville. Mais il a l'air de savoir comment s'intégrer. En même temps, en tant que pharmacien de la ville, s'intégrer fait partie de son boulot. Mais c'est quand même bien de sa part d'être revenu à la vie de Nick. Tara, l'intendante du bureau de Basswood Jungle, est l'exemple type, type de la collègue bizarre. Elle aime tout et tout le monde. Dinosaure, roman à l'eau de rose, télévangéliste, théorie du complot, gâteau de riz, nom de rue pas commun, et j'en passe. Elle peut en parler pendant des heures. Declan Stephenson est un, un des policiers du coin. Je me souviens vaguement de lui quand on était à l'école et il se battait beaucoup, souvent pour protéger les plus jeunes. Personne ne n'a été surpris qu'il devienne flic. Katie et Nick se sont mariés jeunes et ont vite divorcé. Je ne suis pas sûr qu'elle qu m'ait vraiment, jamais vraiment apprécié, même si j'étais le parrain de leur fille. Ou peut-être que ça a juste envenimé les choses. Finalement, tous les mineurs de Basswood ont perdu leur travail lorsque la mine a fermé. Je sais qu'il qu vaut mieux ne pas les provoquer. Et, pour finir, Ethan, un barman dans une petite ville qui écoute plus qu'elle ne parle, le bar de Thun doit être la seule affaire principale de Basswood. Bon oh ben, on les a toutes percées. Ok. Et Anna. Nick and I spent so much money on this machine. Faut que tu regardes. C'est bizarre parce qu'il faut que tu centres ton écran sur le point et non sur la personne à qui tu veux parler. Has it really been two years since I saw her? She hasn't changed a bit. Anna? Sam! I 
I've missed you. Why did it take so long for you to darken my doorstep? I won't lie. It really hurt coming back. I stopped by Lookout Point on the way here. Sam, why'd you do that to yourself? A desire to open old wounds. The old timers <laughs> gave me hell when I came in, too. People around here have short tempers. And long memories. But most of them mean well. Sam, the mine was going to close anyways. Maybe any year or two, five, if the Lord has a sense of humor. It was going to run dry or have an even bigger disaster. It wasn't your fault. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I understand that. It doesn't make it easier, though. It's got to make it a little easier. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Whenever people talk about you, he always says, you did the right thing. Yeah, well, your dad's Joe. He's an oak, unmoving and annoyingly supportive. <laughs> it wasn't just him. Nick thought your piece was great. He was actually jealous. He always wanted to write something that shook the pillars of heaven, as he used to put it. You know, Nick and I had moved in together, started to get serious. Tu avais raison, Willard. Tu avais raison. C'était un triangle. <rire> oh non, non, non. Je <rire> suis vraiment rendu compte de rien si on est. <rire> L'option à droite de Nick et toi et ensemble. <rire> oh boy. Ok, wow. Wow. On va y aller avec cette option là. Et you and Nick started going out? When did this happen? A few months ago. He. He never told you? He asked me to let him be the one to say something. You two had been so close. He probably tried. I hadn't been answering his calls. Ah. <laughs> That's the worst part, right? Anything broken just stays broken now. But this, this was all nice. The funeral, the wake. Walter did a good job. But it all just makes me feel heavy. It makes my heart hurt. Like Nick's memory has been laid on top of me and I'm still carrying him. Oh, non, j'aime pas la question de droite. <rire> C'est droit au point, mais Nick a-t-il été assassiné, là? Pas sûr que... Ouf! Pas sûr que c'est là-dessus qu'on va aller. C'est... Euh... Si on va choquer... Euh... Pas sûr que ça partirait une belle relation puis qu'on qu soit capable de parler avec euh, plus tard. C'est hard pour moi de vraiment juste wrap my head around it. Nick being gone. Smart. Don't rock the boat when the person in the boat just lost a loved one. It's big. I can't get my head around it either. His stuff is all over my house, but he's just missing. Things without an owner. Most of it I'll probably give to Joan and Kathy, the throw away. I don't even know. Sam, I'm tired, and if I'm gonna drink and cry, I wanna do it alone. Ouch. I played that stupid, stupid song like I told myself I would. He said, or he used to say, it made him ache. I did it, and I'm going home. We need to catch up, though. Let's meet for coffee tomorrow and talk. Really talk. 9.30? Yeah, maybe. Ouais, c'est peut-être une meilleure occasion pour se parler. Est-ce qu'il peut s'être passé? Ah, oh, il y a un 
Samuel, come, have a round with me. I need a drink or two. Or three. Oh, you're not talking with everyone. Ah, yo, he's making everyone change their place. Hey, it's Mitchell. I'm such a bestie. Hey, you'd think a kid at a bar would stand out more. Ah, oui, Walter. So, Nick wasn't drunk, and me? I was drunk as a skunk. Ah, Samuel, 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 join us. We were just sharing stories about dear Nicholas. And let me get your next round. Maybe Ethan has a suggestion for a worthy spirit? Well, spirits? Oh, no, no. Friends drink beer. Yes, I suppose that's fitting. To dear Nicholas. <laughs> Yeah, he'd been coming in a lot lately. Sat right there, with a bad dad joke or two. <laughs> with friends, I guess. Maybe Anna. Oh, by himself with his laptop as his date. He never drank alone. You two were close, though, right? Tell me about the man outside the bar. He had a terrible memory. Couldn't remember names, dates, passwords. Kept his notes squirreled around him like a hoard. Huh. He was always good with Joan, but Kathy did the heavy lifting. Took her to school, fed her, clothed her, and Nick would pick her up. Play dad for a few hours, mostly she'd just sit in the office drawing. He'd drop her back off at her mom after dinner. Greater men have done far less by their daughters. The friend of man, the friend of truth. The friend of age, and guide of youth. Few hearts like his with virtue warmed. Few hearts with knowledge so informed. If there's another world, he lives in bliss. If there is none, he made the best of this. Burns, that from your eulogy? You know Robert Burns? And no, just something I keep on hand for toast. Oh, it's a <laughs> good choice. And sorry about that, Sam. I wasn't trying to bring you down. <rire> J'arrive très bien ici. <rire> Pas besoin d'aide pour me rendre dans. Everyone liked him. I think even Dennis liked him somewhat. He always had a lot of friends. A few who couldn't make it sent flowers. How's the family taking it? Joan and Kathy seem shaken. Kathy has a lot to deal with. Now more than ever. But who could prepare for like losing a parent? Not a soul. Not a single soul. It always seemed so easy for him. Every day he'd show up, smile, no matter what. Of the qualities in a good man, that one deserves to be at the top. Not a quality I possess. This isn't a place for self-pity. This is a place for dour reflection. Yes, and drinking. I haven't drank a glass yet. Oh, we'll put a toast. Hey, if I do that, we'll make a boo. We'll just send him to the hospital. Alright, let's go. To Nick, he was my friend. He will be missed. Yeah, we told you, Savvy. Water. I just suppose we'll go to the hospital. Okay, in our. Kathy, what's your underage child doing? Drink? You have no control over her. They think the loser's lost. I wasn't losses. doing anything. Don't touch me, Joan. Leave me alone. Ugh. You guys are all so, so stupid. You do not talk to people that way. Ball. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry, everyone. She's just so, so. Well, you see, I overreact that too, man. Oh, yeah. That was quite heavy-handed. I hope the little one doesn't take it to heart. I'll send her a text. Make sure she's going to be okay. Mm 
je suis là pour toi ou soit pris dans l'autre. Si je dis que je suis là pour toi, elle va faire ouais, t'étais où depuis, depuis deux ans. <rire> Ah, on peut réaliser là aussi, d'une certaine façon. Bon, ok, on passe forward maintenant. Vous allez, <rire> c'est une après l'autre. <rire> C'est toi qui es revenu, je suis tellement désolé, fiche-moi la paix. C'est toi qui es tellement désolé. Je suis désolé. Tu es stuck dans l'existence, stuck dans ma tête, juste un terrible état que tu es dans. Get your anger and sarcasm out of your system. Better you take it out on me than anyone else. You're back out in the world. Feeling emotions, fitting in, that's progress. Fuck the world. Pointless talking, <laughs> more talking, and no one says what they mean. Go away. Let me enjoy being miserable. Just try and make sure you don't do anything stupid. No promises. Ah, puis il rendu quelle heure? <rire> 9 heures pour partir, man. C'est triste. My head. Pills plus drinking. That was not my best idea. I black out or what? Claire McHugh, I black out. Oh, I can't. I can't wait for checkout. They can wait a bit more. Il est juste 9 heures et qu'on se passe si t'en paye. Qu'est-ce qu'il fait au cycleur dehors? Parce qu'il est 9h15 du matin. Ah, oh, c'est mon tête. Il n'y a plus rien là-dedans. Il n'y a plus rien là-dedans. Oh. Dieu, j'ai beaucoup trop. Je me sens comme un petit jackhammer dans mon left temple. Il n'y a pas d'effet, au moins ils n'auront pas changé de drap. Tu t'es quand même couché dessus. S'il vous plaît, laissez-le de l'eau. La bière. Non, non, non. Je vais juste tout mettre. C'est ça? Non, ce n'est pas de l'eau. C'est de la vodka. C'est de l'opposé de l'eau. Mais c'est sûr que je voudrais de la bière. Non, non, non. Plus de bière. Il n'y a pas l'air d'avoir d'eau dans ton frigideur. Non, non, non. Bien sûr. Oui, il mettrait de l'eau dans un frige <rire> de motel. Apparemment, elle empêche la bière de fumer dessus. Ouais. Ma mère serait fière. Au moins, ça ne va pas prendre longtemps pour avoir mes choses. On n'a rien défait. Feel more human. Now, where did I put my shirt? I was just thinking it would look better than I feel. 
Das ist sehr schön mies. Äh, ihr Plates ist sehr schön mies. Oh no. <lacht> oh no. Oh, that blackout up is in the. Oh man. That's not good. That's. Where did I get this? It's a policier. It's a clever policier. What did I do? 